Okay, first off, I'm just so excited you guys are here. I've been looking forward to our meet all week. So I'm super excited you guys are here. I'm going to share a screen in just one second with you guys. And I'm a, our project is, so remember, in August, we did the book donation where you um, cut out uh, the books or you made posters. You guys did such a good job with that. In November, we, hi, Avery, thanks for joining. In November, you guys colored the ornaments, which you guys did a such a good job coloring. I was so proud to give those to um, Tri Kappas who like passes them out. I was so proud to give them to them because you guys did so good. So our December project is we're going to be making something for the teachers and for the whole staff. And like for Mr. Tun and Mrs. Weaver, and you're like, oh my gosh, Mrs. Kneifel, what are we going to make? Well, we're going to make an acrostic poem, okay? So I'm going to explain what an acrostic poem is in just a minute, but we're going to be making a poem for them. And then after the poem's all done, I'm going to print it out on pretty red paper and I'm going to give it to all the staff members and I'm going to like attach a candy cane or a piece of chocolate to it. But here is the beginning. I already started it. And at the bottom, it says, with love, Student Council 2020. So if you're like, Mrs. Kneifel, what the heck is an acrostic poem? So an acrostic poem is a type of poem that you use a word to spell something out, and then you um, use other words for the poem. So here's the name Sam. Does everyone see the name Sam right there? So the name is Sam. So that's who we're writing about. So maybe for Sam, I'll put smart. Oh, I just spelled smart wrong. Oh, my goodness. Smart. Then maybe I'll put awesome. And maybe I'll put marvelous at spelling. Okay. So that would be considered an acrostic poem. I'm explaining to you about Sam by using Sam's first initials. Okay. So you'll get the hang of it as we start going, but I know some of our older students will totally be able to help us out. So the word we're going to be spelling out is Merry Christmas because it's almost Christmas time. So this is going to be a Christmas gift to our teachers. So we're going to be spelling out Merry Christmas. I've, and for the first one, I decided Merry Christmas. The M is going to be Merry Christmas. So it's kind of like the title of our poem and how we're starting it out. So that means we need something that starts with an E-R-R-Y-C-H-R-I-S-T-M-A-S. -R -R we need something that has to do with winter or Christmas or holidays with all those letters. And sometimes they can be just words like happy, or maybe it could be songs to sing, okay? So it could be a phrase or it could be a word, okay? And I already have another document pulled up with some other, with some words that have to do with Christmas in case we get a little bit stumped. Hi, Rochelle. Thanks for joining. Um, so if we get a little bit stumped, that's no big deal. We can figure it out. But our first one is E. Does anyone have anything in their brain they can think of that has to go with winter or Christmas that starts with an E? If you do, you can type it in the chat or you can unmute yourself. But we got to be careful unmuting ourselves because we don't want to be talking over each other. Or you could raise your hand, use the raise your hand button, and I could call on you. Peyton, do you have one that starts with E? Never mind. Okay. Ooh, look it. Miss McKenzie said elves. That's a great one. We could say elves making toys that's a great one that definitely has to do with christmas okay so we have merry christmas elves making toys now we have r's we actually have two r's in a row so if you have a r one type it in the chat or raise your hand or ooh, corgan said reindeer that's a good one reindeers Getting ready to fly. That's a good one. What's another R? Um, let me see if Mrs. Kneifel can find some other R words. Um, rejoice. Rudolph. Ribbon. Ribbon around packages might be cute. Um, receive. Reunion. Families meet. Anyone really like any of those ones? Wrapping paper starts with a W, Corgan. So remember that for later. Like Rudolph. So we have Merry Christmas, elves making toys, reindeers getting ready to fly. We could say Rudolph with his nose so bright. 
That's after a song, fun fact. All right, so this is what we got. So hopefully, you know, I can probably zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it better. Sorry. Okay, so this is what we got so far. Merry Christmas, elves making toys, reindeer getting ready to fly, Rudolph with his nose so bright. Ooh, or red nose reindeer. That's a good one, too. Maybe we could use that below. All right, so now we have why. And why is definitely a tricky one. Mrs. Kneipel was trying to think of whys earlier. Does anyone have a why word? Yummy cookies? Yummy cookies. How about yummy Christmas cookies? Not just regular cookies, but Christmas cookies. That's an awesome one. I didn't even think of yummy. Yummy Christmas cookies. That's a good one. All right, so we already have Mary done. So Mary, we have Merry Christmas. Elves making toys. Reindeers getting ready to fly. Rudolph with his nose so bright. Yummy Christmas cookies. All right, now we're on to C. Anyone have anything for C? I can think of lots. Well, Christmas, of course, is what we're talking about. Um... Candy canes, carolers, cold. Cold's a good one. Um, chimney, candy cane, celebrations. What are we thinking? Anyone like one any of those particular? Chris Kringle, that's a good one. Coal, we don't want it to. Coal's a bad thing, Rochelle, silly. Okay, so what are we thinking? Do we want it to be candy cane, cold? Do we want it to be celebration? Anyone have an opinion? Because we got lots of different ones here. Okay, we have two votes for candy cane and two votes for cold. Caroling in the cold. Have any of you guys ever actually been Christmas Christmas caroling? Because I have not been, but. Um, um, okay, caroling in the cold. Then we use two C's. We use C for caroling and we use C for cold. So that was a good one, Jalissa. We use two things in one. Okay, now we have H. Yeah, two points. That's funny. All right, we have H. We could say something about, ooh, hot chocolate. That's Mrs. Knifel's favorite. Um, we could say holly. We could say happy holidays, hugs, holiday. What are we thinking? What sounds good? Ho, ho, ho. That'd be cute. Hot cocoa. Mrs. Knifel loves hot chocolate, just in case you're wondering. Love it. Okay, looks like lots of us are saying hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. All right. Now we're on to R. We need an other R. So, gosh, there's lots of R's in this one. Um, ooh, what about if we did something about ribbon? Because does anyone ever love getting a package that has a beautiful bow on it? We already talked about reindeer up here and Rudolph. So maybe we should do something different. Is that how you spell Coco? Or is it like that? Oh, I spelled Coco wrong. This is going to feel so silly. Read. That does start with R. What if we said ribbons around? Oh, wait. Did someone just raise their hand? Okay, you can unmute yourself. If you just raised your hand. I think you did. Did you unraise your hand? Ribbons around packages. Because we already talked about reindeer and we talked about Rudolph specifically. And now we got all the R's are done. We're done with the R's. Thank goodness. There was three of them. All right. Now we have I. There's something that we do that you can do outside in the winter that starts with an I. Anyone know what I'm talking about that might be fun to put in there? You can type it in the chat. It happens outside. Or you can build something out of snow. Igloo and ice skating. Yeah. So we could say, we could say ice skating and igloo making. So fun. How about that? 
I screw an igloo making so fun. Yes, Corgan, you raised your hand. Nick, you raised your hand. It's for the next one. Oh, okay. The next one's S. What could we say for S? I can think of lots of S. Oh, first one, Santa. Ooh, sliding in the snow. That might be good. Santa one. making presents. What if at the very last one, the very, very last one, we're going to skip ahead and say mm -hmm. Santa is on his way. That might be a good way to end it. Actually, that is a good way to end it. Good job. That'll be a good way to end it. Um, we have sliding in the snow. We have sleigh. What's another S word? Um, sleigh bells, snowman, sweaters, stockings. Where do, does any, can anyone think about where stockings are hung? Can anyone tell me? Say that, like quote that little thing for me. Stockings by a fireplace or by the chimney. Stockings hung with care. That might sound nice. Okay, so let's read what we got so far because we got a lot. Snowballs, that's a good one too. So, Merry Christmas is the title of the poem. I think I'm going to make the title above so I don't have to make this. I don't want this to be underlined anymore. Ununderline that and then we'll put the title up here. Okay, so it's set. Oh, I want this to be over. Silly. Okay, so Merry Christmas, elves making toys, reindeers getting ready to fly, Rudolph with his nose so bright, Christmas, wait, yummy Christmas cookies, caroling in the cold, hot cocoa, ribbons around packages, ice skating and igloo making, so fun, stockings hung with care. All right, we have three more, and then at the very end, we have Santa is on his way. So we have T. M and A, touching hearts. That might be nice. Um, togetherness. That's probably a good one. Toasted marshmallows. Um, traditions. Tree. Tinsel. Toys. I don't know. I kind of like togetherness. Do any of you like to spend? I'm hoping that, you know, maybe I get to see some of my family for Christmas. I know this year's a little bit different. Does anyone normally get to spend Christmas with their family? Because that's a big part of my Christmas is my family. So we could say together with family and friends. Because sometimes at my aunt's Christmas Eve party, our friends come too, not just family. I'm glad. Hopefully we get to see our families for Christmas. All right. Only two more. Dun, 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 dun. Two more. We have M and A. M and A. We have another M. Remember, we already used M for Merry Christmas. Mistletoe. That's actually what I was thinking. Mistletoe. We can't say Mackenzie, although that's it does start with an M. Mistletoe. Does anyone know what mistletoe is? It's like a little plant that you hang up in like places and you're supposed to, you know, like embrace someone when you see it. So mistletoe. Well, I'm trying to think of a song with mistletoe. Okay, we're just going to put mistletoe. Mistletoe hung. Yeah, I'll have to tell you more about it, Corgan. But mistletoe is just like a little plant. I don't really know what it looks like. But it's like a little plant that people hang up around Christmas. All right, we only have one more. Then maybe we can look for an image to add on here or something pretty. All we have left is A. We could say angel. We could say always a delight. Antlers. Yeah, we could say antlers. It's kind of hard. Um, angel on the tree. You have your hand raised. You can unmute yourself if you want. Here's a mistletoe right here. Oh, look, she looked up a mistletoe. Thank you so much. Yeah, there's a picture of a mistletoe. Angel. Okay, angel on top of the tree. All right, we're going to read the whole thing together, and we're going to see if any we need to change anything, okay? So here's our poem. This is not centered like it should be. 
Mrs. Knifel's having page difficulties. Oh, maybe it is centered. So it's the title is Merry Christmas. Ooh, also we can pick out a pretty font. We can change the font so it looks really pretty. So I don't, sometimes titles are bigger than the actual text. Fun fact. So our poem is called Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, elves making toys, reindeers getting ready to fly, Rudolph with his no-so-bright, yummy Christmas cookies, caroling in the cold, hot cocoa, ribbons around packages, ice skating and igloo making so fun, stockings hung with care, together with family and friends, mistletoe hung, angel on top of the tree, Santa is on his way. Oh my goodness, that is so good. You guys are awesome at thinking of these. And then at the bottom, I just put, we hope this poem brings some joy to your day. Thank you for all that you do for us. With love, Student Council 2020. I wanted to say just thank you to the teachers and to the staff because we all know how much work they do. Nick, do you have something to say, sir? Maybe to um make it like more Christmassy, not that it isn't Christmassy enough. Maybe you could highlight like um the title Merry Christmas. You could you can use the uh, you can use a color is um green and has a and have a highlight of red. We could. Okay. Let's pick out our font first. So then we'll That's just a suggestion though. Yeah, no, that would look nice. Let's pick out a font. A font is how the words look. So right now it's on Arial. Um, this is Mrs. Kneifel's favorite font, fun fact. You don't have to like it too, but we could do this font. This is called Comic Sans. We could do, this is called Cookie, but that that's a little bit harder to read if you don't know how to read cursive. Um, this one is called Dancing Script. Um, this one's a little bolder. It's a little fun. Um... Crafty Girls is what this one's called. This one's a little bit fun. It's a little bit, it's like whooshy. Here, let me bold it. I think you might be able to see it better if we bold it. I like it. Like it? That looks good when it's bolded. I love it. Okay. All right. Let's put a picture in. What might be a good picture to put in? We can search a picture. What's Christmassy? We could do a tree, a candy cane, a present. What, what might be good? Peyton, your hand's up. Thank you for waiting so patiently. A picture of a Santa Claus, maybe? Maybe we can put more than one picture, actually. That's what I was thinking, Peyton. All right, we're going to put in a few little pictures, maybe. Oh, wait, it's going to make a little look silly, but I'll fix it, okay? Don't worry. So here's a picture of Santa. Someone said reindeers, Christmas tree, Christmas tree. Ooh, there's some pretty trees. Oh, that one has a weird thing at the bottom. I take that one back. That one's not going to work. Sometimes they have little tags on them to say who they're from, like who made it, and we don't want that. How about this one? This can I feel? Yes, ma'am. Maybe you can like make Santa riding in a sleigh with his reindeer with him. Okay, we can search but that. We can search like Santa sleigh maybe. We just gotta find the right picture. Let's say Santa in sleigh and maybe his reindeer will be with him maybe like this one this one's rudolph yeah it looks, looks good. good it looks like those one little clips of like anime shows yeah okay i gotta move it around though All right, so here's Santa. Let's make him a little bit smaller. Here's our Christmas tree. Here's Santa. Anything else? We could do a candy cane, a snowflake, a present. Maybe you could put on like a North Pole sign. 
North Pole side. Ribbons, maybe? Like some Christmassy ribbons? Yeah, okay. We'll get a whole bunch of good ones. Oh, wait, that's not the right one. That didn't say North. Well, these aren't the best pictures of the North Pole sign. All right, I'm not loving our North Pole sign pictures. Maybe you can do mistletoe, like, hung on a door or something like that. Okay, we can definitely do that. Okay, let's get a present, because that would have a ribbon on it. We'll get a present with a ribbon. Uh, then we will find a mistletoe. This is a pretty box with a big ribbon, and it's green. Christmas. Kinley, what's up, ma'am? We could do The Grinch. Ooh, we could do The Grinch. Mrs. Kneifel loves the movie The Grinch. Fun fact. I don't know if you guys love the movie. While we're while Mrs. Kneifel is looking up some stuff, tell me your favorite Christmas movie in the chat. While Mrs. Kneifel is looking up, um, I was just going to look some. Oh, Mistletoe. Tell me what your favorite Christmas movie is. Home Alone, The Christmas Break-In, the movie Elf. Oh, I love Elf, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. You guys like my type of movies. Christmas Chronicles, all of them. The Grinch. Polar Express. Oh, I, for I always forget about Polar Express. That's a good one. I don't think I've ever seen the Christmas break in. I'll have to watch it this Christmas. Here are other mistletoes out there. Ooh, fancy. Okay, so here's some mistletoe on the end with some candles. That looks nice. Okay, so we have a Christmas tree. We have mistletoe. We have a present. We have Santa with his reindeers. And of course we have our awesome poem. So we might want to make our poem words a little bit bigger, though. Show, show me a picture of a reindeer. Okay. And Mrs. Kneipel was thinking, so we know, so... Come, sometimes acrostic poems are kind of, they're not hard to read, but you got to realize it's an acrostic poem. So maybe if I put the first letter of Mary in red, and then maybe we could put the first letter of Christmas is in um, green. So then it'll be even more colorful with red and green. Does that sound good? Does everyone see what I'm doing here, how I'm changing it? Then it'll be more colorful and more Christmassy. Ms. And then the other one be green? Miss Kneifel? Yes. Here's also a real picture of a reindeer. Wow. Reindeer kind of look like re like regular deer that we have around here to me. I've never seen a reindeer in person. Have any of you? My mom has. Your mom has? Like Santa's reindeer. Well, this de this poem has definitely got me in the Christmas spirit today. Like three years ago, my mom caught a pic of Santa, Santa trying to leave her house. Oh man! She only got the she only got the bag. Oh. All right. So, what else should we do? Does anyone else have anything else we should do to this? Maybe. Any other things? Remember, we don't want it to look too crazy because we want it to look nice and clean still. We have four pictures. We have the poem. We have our little thing at the end where it says, you know, we want to thank you guys for all your hard work. Could maybe put this in red. No, I don't want to highlight it. Could put that in red. That looks nice and bright. 
what else anything else guys so like i said what i'll do is i will print it off and then i'll be the one to give it to the teacher so your guys's help was with this and then i'll print it off and i'll get it to the teacher sometime next week and it'll be like a christmas gift to them from us from the student council so you guys definitely did a great job with this all right what other questions do we have Anything? Any suggestions? Questions? I think it looks so good. I can't believe how fast you guys were at thinking of words. I thought it was going to take us way longer, but you guys did so awesome thinking of words. I really appreciate your guys' help. And I really appreciate you guys being on our meeting. I'm so glad you guys were able to come and spend some time with me. Um, so this will be our last meeting of 2020 because our next meeting will be in January and that'll be 2021. And then in January, we'll have another project to do. But I really appreciate your guys' help on this. I think the teachers are going to. And the, so um, our instructional assistants and our teachers and like Mr. Tun and Mrs. Weaver and Mrs. Bunch, they're all going to get this. And I think they're all going to absolutely love it. So thank you guys so much for your guys' hard work. Can't believe how hard you guys worked. It looks so great. Um, I don't really have anything else besides I hope you guys are doing okay with the virtual learning or being at school. If you need any help with anything, you can always let me know if you need my help with something. I'll be more than happy to help you guys. Um, anyone have any questions? You can unmute yourself if you have a question. Are these going to go to our teachers? Yeah, they're going to go to every teacher in the building or every teacher on the elementary side, not on the um, – not on the high school side, but just our side. So your teacher will get one, okay? So all your teachers will get one. I'll give it to them sometime next week. I'll get it printed out. And then I'm either going to get maybe some chocolates or some candy canes to attach to them just as a nice little treat. So I'm just showing you a preview. Hopefully it'll show. Oh, it's not going to show. All right, my screen's not sharing. But um, it'll. I think the teachers are really going to love it. I really appreciate your guys' help with it. So you are free to leave me if you um, would like to go. But once again, thank you so much for your guys' help. I hope you have a great Christmas. If you need anything from me, you can, of course, always email me and let me know if you need anything from me. Thank you very, very much for your guys' help, okay? Bye. Have a Merry Christmas. Bye. And Happy New Year. You thank you for your help. Bye. 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 You guys did so awesome today. I'll see you when I walk by your room every day. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> see you later. Thanks for joining.